All right. Uh, so welcome back. We're going to be doing a little bit of uh, more practice of hiragana. Today we're going to be doing uh, some different sounds. So we've done we've done the whole alphabet, more or less. But we're going to want to do um, something something else today. We're going to start with uh, the G sound. And uh, let's see. All right. So G is based on the K sound, but with two dashes. All right. Does that make sense? So uh, for Ka, so we have Ka. That's kind of an ugly Ka. Let's try that. It's not too bad. Maybe, maybe like that. There we go. Okay, so that's ka. I guess more like this. And then we add two little dashes above it. And this makes it ga. Pretty easy. All right, let's do key. So key is like this. It's, oh man, it's an ugly key. Let's try it again. Key. Two dashes makes this yi. Ku. Ku is very easy. Two dashes makes it gu. Uh, ke. Two dashes makes it ge. And ko. Two dashes makes this go. All right, pretty easy. So if you can, if you practice the K letter, you know the G letter is just with double dash there, a little quote mark. Um, this is just, yeah, it's an accent mark. There's uh, two types of accent marks. There is the double quote, and there's a little, little circle. So for K to G, we just use um, this little quote mark. Um, all right, how about we want to make a Z sound? So Z is sort of like an S. So if we want to get from S to Z, it's a little bit of a harder sound. Um, then we're going to first start with S. So we'll start with SA. So SA. And that makes it ZA. And then, if you remember, we had uh, she. It wasn't C, it was uh, she. That's uh, special. Um, and we can put that in accent. And we do not get, similarly, we don't get Z. We get G, which is like a J kind of sound, G. Um, we can take Oh my, that was a very large uh, paintbrush. Let's in fact start that over. So we can take, this is Su, and we want to make that with an accent, so that becomes Zu. We can take Se, get that an accent, it becomes Ze. And oh shit. Um, let's try this again. I still have to practice my letters. If we take so, that's like a good, that's not a bad so at least. Um, and we do this, then it becomes zo. All right. Za, ji, ze, zu, zo. Uh, next we can take T and we can turn it into a D. D is a little bit of a harder sound again. So from ta to da, you know, it's a little, you can, you can kind of hear it. It's a little bit, you know, more pronounced ta versus da. Um, so we'll, 
again we start like this this is ta accent this is da and then we have this which is um what the heck this website uh, labels this weirdly this i believe was uh is chi and they actually say this is also g <laughs> um I don't really know what the difference actually is between these two letters. Let's come back to that. Because um, apparently th this she was also uh, was also G. So this started started as chi and this started as she. They're both pronounced G, I guess. Um, there's probably a subtle difference in pronunciation here that I'm not that I'm not picking up. But let's just leave that aside. Chi accented becomes G. She accented becomes G, I guess. I don't know, it's similar. Uh, let's just leave that alone. Um, okay, te. We remember te. This becomes de. And, oops, it should be sandwich line first, <laughs> or toothpick first. I don't know however you remember it, um, to becomes do with an accent. <laughs> when, when we remember to write the accent, then that's what happens. Um, all right, uh, next we have um, the B sound. This is, you could consider this to be a harder he sound, I don't know. So that's just what it is. So from wa, we get ba. So wa becomes ba. And if we want to make it even harder, we can make it into a p. So we take a wa and we do a circle. And this is pa. Great. Um, so then we can take Take a uh, he and let's add this. This becomes a b. And this becomes p. Okay, so then we can take foo. So foo, something I struggle to draw, but it's a bit like this. Oh man, that's beautiful. My technique I learned in the last episode definitely helped a lot. So we'll start with this, and we'll do a little dash here, and we'll put a little head here. So you can see it's like a running guy. Um, this becomes boo and poo. Uh, then we can take he, or just e, and within a little accent, this becomes be or Uh, and then finally, we can take kind of uh, this ho sound, and this becomes, oops, run that space, this becomes bo, and this becomes po. All right, that's, um, you know, so that's all it for the, the accented letters. So we, again, we have, um, we have G, Z, D, B, and P. These are sort of harder and they come from K, S, T, and H goes to both of those. So, uh, if you need practice drawing those, I recommend checking out the other video or whatever. Um, so uh, I guess we'll talk about 
Uh, we'll talk about these other sounds. So, you might remember we did um, we did ya, and we did yo, and we did you. Of course, I wrote these in I wrote these in a different order than the website did, but um, but ya, you might remember, is like this. It's not too bad. Let's maybe try it again. That's ya. This is yo. And this is you. I know my you is a little bit ugly. Let's maybe. There you go. That's not too bad. <clears throat> so, if you want to make a, um, a sound with the y in it, um, there's no vowel sound for that. Like, there's no y vowel sound. Um, instead, you use the compound mark. So, what we can do is we can take. Uh, we take a uh, key. Let's try that again. All right, that's that's not too bad. So that's a key, and then we'll take a a small, um, a small ya. We want to make it smaller specifically. And this is like it's like a little ya. And this becomes kya. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Um, similarly, we can do the same for uh, oops, let's <laughs> let's make my letters a little bit better. This would become kyo. You see, it's, I'm doing it a little bit smaller. It's not like the full size of the same of the other character. And we can do, again, Q, like that. I know it's, it's not, it's not, uh, not beautiful, but um, that's what that is. And similarly, if we do an accent, this becomes gya, gyo, gyu. Right, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, we can do the same here. We can take uh, this is sha. Remember, because this is a y a, but we're, it's not shia. This is a she. It's not shia, it's just cha. Um, take a. Oops, that's a little too big. Like, it's a little bit hard to do. More like that, I guess. This would be. Um, I remember this is. You. So this is. Shu. And. Littler, this is yo, so this is show. Yeah, it's just because um, you might remember uh, key is a little bit different. Um, so is she, it doesn't really, it's not like sa se si se su, it's sa se she se su. So this sh sound in the other alphabet there's only one version of it. So now we have a couple of different versions of the sh sound. Um, and similarly, ja, or, or even just like, remember, because it's, it's not a z with this one, it's g, so it's more like ja. And then instead of shu, it's uh, more like just a ju. And then instead of show, this becomes Joe. Uh, let's do a couple more. So for 
uh, for n, we can also do that. So we can take our knee and then let's see. Maybe I do need a smaller pen. Keep going smaller and smaller until you can, <laughs> until it looks good. Uh, how how big should this be? So if I do this like this size, that's maybe that's appropriately sized. Um, then. So then this becomes, yeah, like a cat. Uh, new. And new. There's no variations of N, and N does not have a harder sound, so there's no accents. Um, we have, uh, I'm doing this in the wrong order. Let's try this again. a little bit weird like that okay uh so this would be yeah hue hyo so the thing about about having this kind of mark with these these yeah sounds you just want them to be kind of like a lowercase letter right they're they're not tiny but they're like they're like not full sized and that sort of tells you you're conjoining the sound of these two. Um, and this is only something you do with, with the Y sounds, is you do this these kind of tiny versions. Um, and similarly, we can make this into, yeah, view, yo. And you probably guessed it, we can do the same thing by making this into a circle instead, and then it's pia, pew, and pio. Uh, those, those are going to be pretty uncommon. Um, all right, uh, so that is that's kind of it for this one. This one obviously is a lot shorter. Um, the idea here is hopefully you've been able to practice with the alphabet, um, the, the hiragana, the basic hiragana characters, and now these are just accents giving you kind of different sounds of the same characters. So it's really just those, again, those 46 characters, and now we have a couple ways that we can accent them and get a couple different sounds. And now we can read anything that's written in hiragana, more or less, even if we can't maybe get the perfect pronunciation or um, understand what, what it means, we can at least read it. Um, so that's going to get us part of the way there. Um, hopefully, uh, I'll see you next time. We will do, uh, we'll do some more, uh, we'll do some more lettering. All right, bye-bye.